Okay, welcome everybody <coughs> in our next part of the series on building reports with Sticky Report 3. Uh, we got a request uh, recently on uh, the question on how to build a pipeline report showing the pipeline unweighted and weighted um, based on the opportunity that I quoted. Sorry. So, what we're going to do is start creating a new report. Now, let's just do that. Uh, we'll call it the uh, Pipeline by quarter. What we want to do is, of course, pick the opportunity and say, okay, we take as core module the opportunities. What we are interested in now, a couple of fields, and we expect a close date. And that is what we want. We are interested in the amount. We are interested in the probability. 1%. We want to select only, of course, open opportunities. So we click the cell stage, drag that over. Okay, is one off. Let's see when we take everything up to closed one, closed lost. That's about it. Uh, next thing we want to do is just switch here and we do a summary. <coughs> Sorry. And do the sum on the amount. So let's just save the report, see what I get into. So this should now give us just a simple list of um, opportunities. There we go. That's not bad. So a couple of things we now want to do. First of all, we want to do uh, convert this to quarter. So it's okay. What is the respective quarter of this close date? Because we're not interested in the date, we can group by the date. And the other thing we want to multiply these two fields. So first step is change to the quarter. It's okay. How we do that is, first of all, we need to change the value in the text, so we do the quarter. And then the custom function. The custom function allows you to execute small snippets of SQL code on the database, um, where one of the neat functions uh, MySQL offers is the quarter function. So we say take the quarter, and we want to take it from this table, and the current field we have. So, the notation is $t table delay 50 field. So, in our case, it will just take there and uh, make the quota out of it. In order to do that, we just switch off the under queuing analyzer. We can easily do that. And the next thing we want to do is so, this should now give us the quota. Huh? Um, we want to do um, the weighted amount. So, we take the amount. There's a couple of ways how we could do that. Um, first of all, I also want to do it my custom function, so I want to let database do it. I could also use uh, the fields at the rear end. This is done in PHP, but however, <coughs> since we also want to do some grouping, it's smarter to do it on the database level uh, since this helps us. So, what we want to do is, first of all, uh, so we cancel. Um, we want to do another trick. We want to know the field names, so for the amount, we don't need it. But if you're not sure, for example, for the probability, I can just want to know what the technical field name is because I'm doing my uh, function. I see it's probability. So I go in here and say, okay, what I now do, I take, you see, I did drag over the amount field. So I'm taking the field amount, the one we are currently on, multiply it by the probability, which is also in this table, dot probability. So I say the table dot the field, and then I want to divide it by 100. So because the probability is based on percentage, and it's not point something, it's 60 or whatever, as we have seen. <coughs> so I want to take that and say, okay, that's the probability. So we do that. Okay. So we have built two functions. The one is convert this field to a quarter. The other one, calculate my probability. Hit save. So what you see is, okay, that sounds reasonable, 25,000 times 10% is 2,500, times 60%, the 50,000 is 30,000, so sounds right. So the next thing, of course, you see that's not properly formatted. Um, by the way, the summary gives us here the total, we'll get the total here as well. So what I do next is make sure it's formatted properly. 
There's a couple of ways of doing that. The easiest one, if you do it that way, you go to the presentation there, and uh, some of these views offer you an override type. So I can say I want to show this as currency. And by the way, probability, I want to show this percentage. And the other thing I want to do now is I want to group it by the quarter. So I want to pick the sum and the average probability by the quarter. So I say, OK. I group by my fee the closing quarter on the amount. I take the sum. We also take the sum. And on the probability, sum doesn't make a lot of sense. So we take the average. And in the presentation view, the only thing I add here is also the sum. The average on the average doesn't make too much sense. So what I expect now is that I get a view with. Uh, we can do that. We call this an And then we call this the average probability. Oops. <coughs> it just looks a little bit nicer. Mike's away. So we expect to get a report where we see the quota, the sum of the amount, the sum of the weighted amount. Well, first of all, this is executed and then it's summarized. Then the average of the thing, I want to have this rendered as a currency. This is a percentage. Save. Voila, as we expected. So, first of all, you see this is now based on the quarter, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the unweighted amount. This is the weighted amount. It's formatted properly as a currency field. <coughs> the average probability is built in there as well. Um, but of course, see, it's not completely right because it's the average of the probabilities per opportunity, but it's not weighted. So, what we can do if you're interested in saying, okay, what's the complete and the total? Weighting factor, which is all the fixed fields, and call it total weighting. Um, in order to do that, we need the amount, we put that in the store, and we need the weighted amount, which we call give it a name. And then on this level, on the total weighting, we calculate saying we take the weighted amount and divide by the total amount. And multiply it by the number. So this should give us percentage. So that's our formula. So basically what we did is say, okay, we take two these these two fields, we put them in a store, and then we evaluate a formula at the end. This is done. Difference between these formulas and these is this is done on the database level. <coughs> so it's important to know brings your performance, limits the number of records you can group by. This you cannot group by because this is done after the results are returned from the database. But in order to do that, we say, okay, we got all this back, and of course, we expect a little bit of a difference between those two. Let's see if this is true. On the presentation, the only thing we want to make sure is that this is also rendered as a percentage properly. Save it. And we got what we asked for. So you see a little bit of a difference based on the averages and probability of the total weighting. So there might be a difference because the opportunities are, of course, of different size. So that was the first step of what we wanted. The second step is now let's uh, graphically visualize that. So in order to do that, we put a chart in there and say one by one. In our case, we want to put a fusion chart in there. And we want to take two-dimensional and multi-values. And we want to have basically two scales, one on the left side, one on the right side, because we want to combine the probabilities with a combination chart. We do it, dimension one is the close quarter. And after that, we drag over the following field. We take the amount, the amount weighted, then the average probability and the total weighting. Um, we put this on the different axes. So this is our primary. This is also on the primary. This is on the secondary, it is also on the secondary, and those two we want to render as lines. And we're going to show this display legend from this play around edges, and we can I save that's fine, at bottom. And if we save, What you get is a chart. So first of all, our results, the amount, the amount weighted, the average probability, and the total weighted probability. And then <coughs> you can see that, of course, that's the unweighted, that's the weighted amount for each quarter. And on the right-hand side, the percentage scale of what's the weighting factor. 
So um, as you see, we are going between 30 and 60. You can also make this a little bit more explicit. Limit the scales on the right hand side. So a bit nicer. That's the last thing you want to do before we are done here. So we want to start here at 30 and go up to 60 on the second axis. Save it. So you see, okay, now they split up a little bit better. So uh, you can a little bit better see the differences here. Okay, so much for it. Thank you for listening.